Hello, I'm Andrew from the Stained Laddie Glass Company in Bolton. I've been making and repairing stained glass windows for over 30 years. It's a wonderful and interesting job and I'm going to tell you more about how stained glass is made in a moment. Uh, but first I would like to speak to you about an exciting project that's going to be happening at your school. In the coming weeks you're going to be working with your teachers to create some drawings inspired by the local surroundings and the history of your area. Then we're going to take your artwork and use it to design a new stained glass window to be fitted in the entrance of your school. Now that you know what you're going to be doing, I want to tell you more about stained glass and how it's made. You might have seen some examples in churches and other old buildings, and you might even have some in your own home. It's a wonderful traditional art form which has been unchanged for over a thousand years. I'm now going to take you through to the studio to show you behind the scenes and talk you through how new windows are made. I'd like to show you how stained glass is made. We're currently making these uh, lovely panels for a door and, and for around the door for a, a house in Manchester. So we've got a pattern that we've drawn to full size of the piece of stained glass that we're going to make. The stained glass is made out of all individual pieces of coloured glass. So this is some of the blue glass that we're using for this window. And we use a special cutter called a glass cutter which has got a little hard wheel on the end and that's going to make a little score mark on the glass so I can cut the glass. So I put the, the glass over the pattern and then I can look through the glass, make a score mark and then hopefully cut it. So you might be able to hear the sound of the cutter as it goes across the glass. So that's the first score mark. So I score each of these sides and once I've got the score marks across the glass then I can break it. It breaks very easily once it's been cut properly. There's another score mark across here and another one here and that's the, the sides of the piece that I need to make. And I also need a pink piece of glass for in here. So I'm going to cut that in the same way. I'll put it over the pattern, score the line, and then I can break the glass. And I rub the edges against each other to take off the sharp edges off the glass. Once I've got all the pieces cut, then I can join the pieces together with a special lead. The pieces of glass actually fit into the lead. The lead is like a capital letter I. So the, the glass fits into the leads and then it can all be joined together and make one big picture, which is the stained glass window. And that's how stained glass is made. When I was at school I had a passion for art as well as maths and science. This eventually led to an apprenticeship in engineering which gave me the opportunity to make lots of interesting things. Alongside this I developed an interest in stained glass and took it up as a hobby. I really enjoyed making stained glass windows and then made the decision to switch careers from engineering to stained glass. There have been many different stained glass artists that have influenced me over the years. I've always admired the work of Scottish artist Charles Rennie Mackintosh whose work was very important to the Art Nouveau movement during the late 19th century. He was very famous for the rose motif you may have seen in many stained glass windows. Another artist whose work I particularly love is William Morris. His designs were made of his lots of natural elements like birds, flowers and leaves, all interwoven into very intricate patterns. Over the years we've designed, made and repaired hundreds of windows for churches, schools and homes and even hospitals. One of my favourite windows we've made was for Darien House Children's Hospice in Chorley. What I particularly love about it was that I made it together with my daughters Bethany and Katie, but I also love the beautiful design. The brightly coloured glass really creates a sense of hope and joy 
and fills the space from floor to ceiling with coloured light as a real credit to my business and it's one that I'll always remember. I'm so excited to see the designs you've all come up with and look forward to turning it into a lovely stained glass window that you can all enjoy for years and years to come.